Okay, today I'm going to be working on the radio I started restoring a few days ago. Um, I believe I have all the parts I need to fix it. Okay, first let's replace the electrolytic capacitor in the chassis. Okay, there's the electrolytic capacitor that I will be replacing. I'll be replacing it with these two capacitors. Okay, I have replaced the electrolytic capacitor with these two capacitors. They're, they're both electrolytic too. Now I'm going to replace the power cord. Okay, so I noticed the speaker field coil was missing, so I replaced it with these. Um, this is just a choke coil, and this is an audio transformer. The audio transformer was also missing. Okay, now I'm going to take the speaker out of the radio um, because the wires are hard to get to, so I'm going to fix it. There's the wire that was hard to reach. So I took the whole speaker out. Oh, and by the way, I moved the chassis so that the waveform coil or the antenna um, could plug into the back of the chassis when I test it. Okay, the speaker is wired in. Now we'll plug in the wave magnet. Now we'll replace all the missing tubes. Okay, it's been about a week. I realized I was missing one of the tubes I needed. I forgot to order it. So I got that, and now let me show you the radio. So I ended up using this audio transformer in place of the other audio transformer and choke coil. This one will provide far better results. Um, and I'm using the original speaker, which there is the field coil on the original speaker. The original speaker right there used to have a transformer that would sit up there somewhere or on the other side somewhere. There is the tube I almost forgot to order. Okay, everything is connected and I had to go back inside of the chassis and put 20 microfarad capacitors instead of 10 microfarad capacitors because for some reason I put 10 microfarad capacitors when the schematic called for 20 microfarad capacitors. Okay, now we will plug in the radio and see what happens. This is not the permanent cord. Okay, the tubes are warming up. Not as if he's a pastor or an activist against abortion. Now those people are dangerous. So this is my antenna. It goes up to the roof. This is a metal roof. And this is the ground it's connection. Not as it's here at surface level. It's just not. It's by the bar. This would be linked with Washington compost, and that the Washington compost would run it a month before the election. The timing is relevant. Now I will tune to a different station. The way they wrote it is relevant. Trump's name appears twice in the first. Okay, there's the capacitor back there. Okay, I just figured out the speaker was kind of shorted out, so I readjusted it. 